video, quite a few I'm going to be doing regarding my stock Yamaha R6. I'm going to be doing quite a few bits and pieces regarding aesthetics, performance and this first video I'm going to be starting with the discs and the brakes. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoy. Thank you guys. I've chosen to go for the Galfa Wavy Disc uh, range with the Galfa brake pads as well. Um, I've chosen them because Galfa has been around for over 60 years. They definitely know what they're doing. Uh, they've helped people in MotoGP, SBK, Supercross, Motocross, Enduro, etc. Um, win world-renowned titles. As well as that, they have improved braking performance, uh, reduced wear as well which is really important and they're really quiet as well so they perform to oem specification Okay, so we have a very naked looking hover bike. Um, yeah, so both the wheels are off. I've just realised how mucky she actually is. I need to clean her now. Um, but we've got both of the wheels here uh, and I'm going to get the discs on. They have used a hell of a lot of Loctite on this rear disc and as you can see the teeth here are starting to chew. Right, so we finally got that out. Massive pain in the ass. Um, so here are the Galfers and there are the stock ones. Here is the rear. You can see it's got a bit of bluing still in good condition um it just wasn't wasn't up to scratch I've got them on there now. They look so pretty. Look at that. Um, I haven't talked them up because I left my torque wrench at work, but I've done them up to FT. Um, so I'll just have to wait until I can uh, get to work on Monday to do those. But um, yeah, I'm super stoked of how they look on there. Really nice, much better um yeah right i've got to do the brake pads now so let's continue
right, so this is the finished product. So I've got the golfers on the front here, looking pretty, gorgeous. Got the brake pads in there as well. And I've obviously got the golfer on the back here with the brake pads too. So yeah, no, I'm really excited to get it onto the road now, see what the difference is. Hopefully the braking will be a lot more sharp. Um, I think the next sort of protocol is to go for get rid of the ABS for a start and uh, probably braided brake lines and perhaps look at a master cylinder. But obviously, if these perform how I expect them to perform, then I might not have to go that far, but we'll see. So thank you so much for watching my first video. I hope you didn't find it too boring, um, but stay tuned because I've got loads more bits and bobs happening with this bike and I'm really excited to show you guys the journey. So yeah. Keep in touch. Bye, guys.